You know you're at Nana's house when you see your photos proudly displayed, maybe on the refrigerator, or in the case of my Grandma Joe's, they were fanned out and framed across the coffee table. It's a welcoming and comforting feeling. It's also a heartwarming display of love that grows with each grandchild who enters the family. Well, today we're sharing creative ideas to build more beauty and purpose to your grandchild gallery. One of our favorite Nanas, Michelle Betridge, is joining me to share. It's great to see you. Great to see you too. I'm just gonna be grinning the whole time because photos actually do a lot. I was just reading a new study yesterday about what they do for core memories, what they do for the relationship, the yeah. vibe. So for grandkids to see their photo, their mug, all over grandma's yeah. house, that means something. It really does, it really does. And I think that it means something to them and it means something to us as well. It keeps them like top of mind to us all day long. You consider it important, yes. like an important part of your home. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the heart of your home. So what you'll find is a lot of the grandmas will actually display their pictures in the heart of the home. That might be the kitchen, that might be the family room, it could be um, even a grandchild room that they've already decorated and um, have games and play in and sleep in, or it could be by their bed. I mean, grandmas put them everywhere. We're going to celebrate and also share some of the different ways the modern Nana is displaying these photos, these memories in 2024, and you called on your community to help with this. I did. I reached out to my community and I just asked them, I said, where are you putting your grandchildren's photos? And so a good portion of them still do what we've done for decades, and that's just plaster the refrigerator with them. <laughs> I love it. And so, and I think that's great. If that's what they want to do. You'll see pictures of the grandkids. You'll see handmade notes. Um, you'll see coloring pages. Um, and then there are grandmas who get super creative with that. Talk to us more about the creativity because you can just do that. Tape is all you yep. need. Scotch, check, and we're done. But there's some fun ways to dress it up. There is. So some of the grandmas um, are very technical, like with tacky, yeah. and so they're doing digital frames on the counters and then the pictures are rotating through. My, my parents do that, it yeah. brings them a lot of joy. It also brings us a lot of joy when we're visiting to see yeah. the rotation of the years gone by. And I, one shared with me, like she puts it on her Apple TV mm. and then she has music to it, so it's running throughout the day. I never thought about doing that, so I thought that was a neat idea. And I will say it's easier with some of these digital frames, it's easier than people might think. In, in our situation, I, and I don't know the specific brand my parents have, but you just email a photo to an address, an email address, and it automatically Likely. kicks into the rotation. Like updates it. Yeah. Right. So um, I think it's fun that you can do it that way. I also had some that sent in some pictures that I loved. They've done them like wall clocks and put oh. the pictures around that. Oh, I cute. think we have some pictures for the viewers of that. Um, wall collages are very popular. My mom had almost a whole hallway and it said count your many blessings and name them one by one. Sweet. And she had all of the grandchildren and children and great-grandchildren um, so it was almost like a gallery yeah. or almost like a shrine yeah right yeah and I think that's okay because that's what they do we worship our grandkids absolutely yeah. it's family so it's family it's it's an extension of our heart and of what we care about yeah. the very most so de for decades they put them on the fridge so I thought it'd be fun to find a way to do that there's a couple reasons why people don't anymore their fridges are stainless steel. They're not magnetic. They're not magnetic. So I'll show, I've got you, I'll show you a couple okay. of ways that you can do the that. The sides can be though, so this right. works. We're gonna show you our Studio 5 fridge today because it is decked out in, in true Nana fashion, but you've elevated the look with these beautiful frames. Yeah, so you just look for frames. You can look for them at craft stores, um, thrift stores. I've got some examples of both. Okay. Um, also on Amazon, um, you can get them pretty much anywhere. Okay. If you just get small small frames yeah and then what we want to do is just take the pictures um, so a lot of the reasons why grandmas also don't do it anymore is because there's no focus mm. if you'll notice like a lot of them just get so cluttered or so you know so busy yeah. that they can't just focus in on the grandchild so if you're gonna do it this way you're probably gonna need to pick your favorite picture of your grandchild I thought you were gonna say your favorite grandchild no. that doesn't work <laughs> no, no <laughs> okay. absolutely not there's no such thing <laughs> and so you'll pick your favorite picture or a recent picture yeah and then you decide do I want to use the original do I want to make a copy of it mm. so then I'm not in, and I can keep the original in a scrapbook. Because you're gonna manipulate the photo. Right. Right. So you're just gonna pick your frames. Yeah. You can pick your color scheme. So you can go with white, you can go with like a bronzed, um, like a brushed bronze. Yeah, who's this? Rose gold. This is an ancestor. So what we've Aww. been doing is focusing on, we just have one on our fridge that has this ancestor and we talk about her. You can do the same thing with a grandchild if yeah. you don't want only one frame on there. I love to focus on one grandchild and then just 
pray for that child. Mm. Think about that child yeah. and kind of make that a special They're kind of holding their heart that, that month. So, so you sprayed these gold. I did. Well, these actually come from Amazon just like this. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So I wanted to show you the difference because I use this product called, um, it's called Rub and Buff. Uh -huh. And so maybe hold up those yeah. two and yeah. you can see the difference. This is the Rub and Buff. So this is, yep, this is the Rub and Buff. Gives it a little bit more of an antique look. More natural, a little mm -hmm. more subtle. That's what we did on the fridge here in Studio pretty. 5 too. Really I like pretty. it because it just gives it a little bit more antique And look. this works with any frame or does it have to be metal? No, any it frame. works with any frame. And then what are we affixing or adhering to the back? So I just put the picture on and then because I want to switch them out, I just put in um, like Invisible tape. Oh, these on the are back. already magnetic. Yes. Oh no. Then you'll put a then you'll put a magnet on. Oh, those. then you do the yeah. magnet. Okay. Then we'll put a magnet on right Got it. here. Once the photos in. Mm -hmm. These are some that you can order off Amazon. They're very strong. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to use magnet, or we could use the magnet strip, oh, the or Velcro. the command strips that are Velcro. Okay. The magnets come in a roll that yeah. you can just cut to fit as well. Okay. So, so those are a couple of ways that you can adhere them to the fridge. So if our fridge isn't magnet, that's where magnetic, mm -hmm. that's where this would come mm -hmm. into play with yeah. the with the Velcro strips. Yeah. Oh, but what a proud I mean again, central to the home, heart of the home, the kitchen, right. the fridge, really cute ways to bring that shrine oh. yes. back to the place that it belongs. Exactly. And other digital ways to preserve photos, you like to have these books around too? I like to have table books. Yeah. I also, this is a display that I have in my home. I found an artist and I had her draw my grandchild with Christ. Oh, I love that. And so a lot of times people walk in and they think I've lost a grandchild because a lot of those pictures are with people that have passed on. Mm. But for me, I wanted my grandchildren to be able to picture themselves with the Savior. Oh, I love that. So we're, I've got more grandchildren than pictures, so I've got to get the artist to kind of pick it up. <laughs> But it's fun for them to come in, and that's one of the focal points when they come in yeah. to see themselves with Christ. I think that's important. What a meaningful message that you're sending to your grandkids and to your family with that display. And thank you for sharing all of these beautiful ideas. Thanks to your community as well. How can we be part of that group? So you just find us on The Giddy Grandma at Facebook or on Instagram. Also, if you want some of the links to what we've used today, just put photo in the comments and, or you can DM me with your email address and I'll just send you a PDF with all of the links that are non-sponsored where you can find the things to purchase. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much. We'll link you over from our website so you can get all of the resources Michelle just mentioned. Thanks so much. Thank you.